morning everyone it's the second day here in Niseko Japan and we're gonna do another day of snowboarding uh, sorry for last night that I didn't record anything I was very 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 bummed about my first day because I didn't get snowboarding down like everyone else did so I just was really sad and I just didn't feel like vlogging anymore but today's a new day and at first I didn't want to go but today I guess everyone's going at their own pace today which thank god is kind of relieving for me because I totally suck and I'm slow so hopefully today is a better day um, so right now we're gearing up again so it's just Keith and I and Junior's out in the living room waiting for us. I don't know if we could take you guys again because it is snowing really, really bad. And just being up in the mountain, it just, it's just really bad for like electronics, like the phone. Like we brought our phones up there, tried to take some photos, but the phones were kind of like acting up and it would die real quickly, even though it's like fully charged. Um, we haven't tried bringing my camera yet, but I don't, I don't know if we are. <laughs> Okay, Keith says he doesn't want to risk it, so unfortunately we won't be able to get some mountain shots or like snowboarding. Mm, let's, let's try, since we're going at our own pace today, I think we can take it. Let's try it. Ooh, okay, so we're going to try to bring you guys, because that's what I really wanted to do on this trip, was to show you guys snowboarding, me falling down and crying, and the mountain and the snow falling. So here's a little glimpse of what we see right now. Earlier it was clear, but now, look at it. It's pouring. It is pouring. I'm just gonna zoom in for you guys. Look at all that snow. Right? It's crazy. So yeah, we'll see you guys um, in a few. Hey guys, we're snowboarding. While I'm sitting down, hopefully you can hear me. But here's Keith. Babe, say hi. He's about to go one round. I'm still practicing. So here's what the snow gear looks like. Snowboard. Got our bag with some snacks and chargers for the phones. And look how beautiful it is outside. There's a ski lift. And here's another one. Okay. So Keith's gonna come down this side. So yeah. Hey, there's Junior! <laughs> oh damn! Wipe out. Wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there goes babe. Oh. See Junior. Come on, Junior. For the vlog, yep. Oh yeah. Oh damn, he got it. Oh snap. There they go. While I sit my ass here, cause I'm still learning and I totally suck still. But, yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm going to eat my snack now.
restaurants we ate yesterday which is at the very very top and these guys are closing at two o'clock so we gotta eat kind of quick it's 140 146 <gasps> i didn't know i just saw the menu oh shit here's the menu so this is what we ordered ordered two of that because it's our favorite and we're probably gonna get hot chocolate right after because they don't have it here but it's downstairs so, yep, we will vlog our food when we get it. And here's our food, hamburger steak with veggies and the sauce, plus some rice. How's it, babe? Okay, Just things really like. Oh, salad too. Hey guys, so we just finished eating at that one restaurant and we got also some hot chocolate to share. And now we're walking back to our home. We're walking back to our house, so check out this cool view that we have while walking down. So nice. This is Mount Yota. And right now it's pretty clear, so you get to see kind of like the snow top. And yeah. Really nice view walking down, heading home, so. I'm fucking tired, got a headache. Keith is carrying our snowboards while I hold the hot chocolate. <laughs> but check out all the snow and the icicles underneath the cars. You can see a few. And yeah. See the little town of Iseko is so cute. So we'll see you guys in the house. Hey guys, so we just got to our hotel or our house and I never showed this part, but they have like a separate area of the hotel where they have all the snowboarding gear stored at. So whenever you come back from snowboarding, you could just store it here in the drying room is what it's called. That way it doesn't make the hotel or house wet and it looks like a locker room basically so you just get you know a cabinet to your room number and it comes with hangers and you could just store your shoes down here helmet and your clothing yep all your snowboarding stuff so you could just sit down and undress right here and of course when you wear snowboarding gear you also have like clothes underneath so when you undress, you're going to be walking into the hotel with your, your leggings or whatever. And then they have a separate room for just the snowboard, so that's where I'm going next. And it looks like this. Everything all has a padlock and the room number, so we're room number 502. So we locked our, oh well, we just put our boards right here for room 502. So that's what it looks like, which I think is really cool and really 
well thought out, you know, especially for an area where it's famous for snowboarding or skiing. So yeah, let's go back to the other room. So yeah, this is the drying room. So you unload your stuff here, and then you walk out this door, and out this door, I'll just show you. It's the elevator to go to the hotel, which is right above. So yep, we're gonna unload right now, and... Wait, wait, check out that cheese tart, please. Who said? I said. Oh, okay. But we need to get off all this. There's a cheese tart place that's right outside our house, literally like right across it. So probably after we unload and relax for a few minutes, we'll go check it out. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so we just got into the house and before we went in, there's a little vending machine outside near that drying room I just showed for the snowboards. And Keith found this Pepsi Refresh Shot, which we've know. never heard of. Maybe an energy drink? I don't know. Probably. This is what it looks like. Um, there it is. Pretty cute. It's tiny, so Keith's going to give it a try right now. Which is perfect because we're just so tired from snowboarding already. Smells like Pepsi. Okay. Nothing different. Maybe more sugar, I don't know, but this is the same. Tastes the same? All right. Andre? No, I just had hot chocolate. It's not going to taste good. Good idea. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> but also, look at it now. Remember how there was a mountain here? Now it's all covered. Crazy how quickly, like, the snow can change things. Okay, we're gonna take a quick shower and I don't know, um, just chill and maybe later on go find some dinner. Hey guys, I know this is not a cute angle, but right now I'm actually home alone. Uh, after Keith and I came back from snowboarding, took a shower, kind of rested a few minutes, everyone kind of came in. Um, we also have two new guests, actually four new guests, but out of the four, two of them are also staying in our little um, penthouse. So, and the other two are staying downstairs in another room. So they just arrived um, to Niseko today. So everyone left to go pick up their snowboard gear and their boots. And I decided to just stay home. Um, because it's just too cold outside and I'm just too lazy to kind of like change and get ready again So in the meantime, I'm trying to upload some photos and videos off my camera that way I can have more space um, But I also just remembered that I got a drink um, This was two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. I got it at the airport of Misako um, when we landed here and it's really cute Check it out it is this cute Ridakuma drink. I can't remember if I showed you guys this. I think I did. And I probably said I was going to drink it, but I ended up saving it because, yeah, when you're in Japan, you buy so much stuff from, like, the convenience store that it just piles up and then you forget about it. And then when you go to the convenience store again, you buy more stuff. So I'm trying to finish up everything that I bought first before I go and buy more stuff at the convenience store because that's... That's what's been happening, and I hate wasting it, so we're going to find out what this is, if it's iced tea or a lemon drink, I don't know, but it's really cute, so let's give it a try. Okay, so we're going to open my drink, and I think, or I'm hoping it's iced tea. The worst it would be is like some lemon juice, <laughs> but we're going to find out. So it comes with a cute straw, so let's use that. And there's a little hole right here, right there. You just poke that in. Just put that, my laptop's right here, so. Let's open this up. Okay. Finally. Okay. So I already know what the straw's like, so it's really cool because it's short, but then you could pull it longer. Okay. Let's give it a shake, just in case it needs it. And... 
Oh, before I pop it, look at the top. Look how cute this is. It's Koridakuma and all the bunnies and the new character. It's so cute. Okay. Cheers. I hate it so much. It's lemon yogurt, like, you know the brand Yakult, which is like this yogurt kind of drink. Imagine that, very tarty, because it's a lemon flavor. I hate it. It's cute, but I will not drink this. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to leave it to Keith. Oh, no wonder why when I shook it, it sounded very thick. It's like a yogurt. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So I'm just going to stop the vlogging here until everyone comes back. And I'm just going to continue uploading some stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys. Don't so ever get that drink, you guys. <laughs> Keith just came home to pick me up because we're going to go the, to the convenience store. <laughs> Even though I just finished telling you how I don't want to buy any more snacks until I'm done with my snacks. We're going to go look. We're going to go look. Wink, wink. Um, but see, look how much snacks we have already. That sounds like... Scallops, chocolate. This is from the mountain, mountain. like the store, restaurant. Onigiri. I have onigiri. That's $3. These we have are about, chocolate. Like 50 cents. Chips. That's yeah. open, and I didn't finish it. More stuff. This is from Guam. This is like a Filipino uh, crackers. Stickles right here. Chocolate stickles. Scallops. Cheese. Yeah, just a lot of stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't. If you guys buy want anymore. anything, um, give us a like, subscribe, and let us know what you guys would like to try, and then drop a comment. Mhm. Mm but yeah, Keith tried that lemon drink because when he came home, out he was like, oh, did you drink it? I said, yeah. I why don't you it try it? Tea. And then when he tried it, he spit it out in the bathroom. So anyway, we're gonna get ready now, or I'm getting ready. Put on a shirt. Got my jacket on. Uh, I'm gonna put on a beanie and shoes, and then we're gonna head out. So, Cute. yeah, we'll see you guys at the convenience store probably. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, he's dressing me. I don't want this beanie, by the way. It's not yours. No, this is an old coat. Shoot. <laughs> okay, here you go. Fix the hair, gotta look cute. See you guys soon. Alright you guys, so we just finished Hirafu 188. It has a convenience store, a little shopping center on the top and some there. But literally this this little convenience store is like less than five minute walk to our place. And there's so many other places here, like there's a restaurant there, there's another restaurant here, and then a convenience store. But we're gonna go check out this place just because they have that that little cookie that they're known for over here in Hokkaido, or in, uh, yeah, up north. Let's go check it out. And of course you see peach cola, mm -hmm. the vending machines. I haven't seen anything different, so, but if we see something different, we'll let you guys know. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Look like at she's hair has all the snow in it. Yep. Chunks of snow too. Yep. And I see something. Some big up on some oh gummy uh, some uh, slime. Oh in the my can. god, how cute! Some dinosaurs. Gotta come back. And here's a little convenience store. This is the cookie that they're known for. I don't have a name. Me neither. Oh, something shiroi. Uh, kobi, ko, koi bito. Shiroi koi bito. That nice. cookie. Huh? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Alright, guys, so we're 
guys, so we just finished the convenience store back there. Now we're walking back to our hotel. And just so you guys know, the place we're staying at is called Yo Take Tracks. And we got one of the top the top floor rooms on the, on the balcony. It's a pretty nice view. That's where we guys showed you guys everything. But it's really really close to everything, even the the Everything's the in like walking distance. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, speaking of that, speaking of that, so we were on the top of the mountain. I thought there was like really thick snow, so I saw like a little puddle, and I was like, oh, Kev, record me, record me. He goes, okay, okay. And he goes, I don't think that's thick enough. I was like, it's okay, no problem. So I still, I ran, I jumped face forward, and then went, doop, I hit the ground. It's so bad. So we just got back home from that little um convenience store and a little tiny store that sells like souvenirs and stuff so i'm just going to show you guys what we got before i forget so here it is um first off i got this keychain and it's like a japanese cookie keychain that hokkaido is known for so if you ever tried this basically it's like a thin cookie with a thin chocolate layer in between it's either vanilla or chocolate usually so it looks like this. This is the wrapper that it comes in. And then this would be the tin can. So the tin can, I got a magnet version of it, which I think is so cute. So this is what it normally comes in. So it's just a magnet version of that container. Really cute, very detailed. Sorry, it's blurry. Okay, so got these two. Then uh, we also got a Niseko magnet because we usually do that when we go to a new place we try to get a magnet so we went with this one because it has the snowboard the mountain Hokkaido and skiing or skis whatever it's called and yeah Niseko the convenience store I got these lip balms because I love the DHC lip balms and I found a colored one two colored ones that have coral and like a reddish tone pink so yep can't wait to try this if anything i'm probably gonna try it today so yeah just wanted to sh show you our little convenience slash store haul I'm done. Try that. Yeah, cheese tart. Thank you. 
Can try it out. Dude, it's cold, you guys. Look at it. Can you see it? Hold it, hold it. <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Gents. <laughs> Gents. <laughs> you want to try half? Mm. Yeah. Go for it. How's it? Bomb. Really good. Or you bite it first, let me know if you want the whole thing. Better than Pablo. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Bye. Verdict, verdict. Did you bite it? <laughs> it's good, it's good. Winner? This is good. Winner, we winner. Chicken dinner, yeah. Guys, so we just finished having dinner at that one restaurant. And then right across, we went to the cheese tart little stand. So that's what we're eating right now. And now we're walking to, I think, the convenience store. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go there, probably get some snacks again and drinks since we have four new people <laughs> um, with us now. So it's gonna be their first time kind of going there. So yep, we'll show you guys what we do there or what we get. But yeah, check out the Niseko town at night. Really cute. There's a lot of snowboard shops like this one, Burton. And a lot of cute like restaurants that serve like you know, nice hot food to eat during uh, the cold weather like this. So like curry, ramen, sukiyaki, shabu shabu, all these like traditional Japanese hot pots and stuff for the cold weather. So yeah, it's really nice to walk outside at night. Oh, we're already here at the convenience store. So here it is. It's called Seiko Mart. Hold it still. It's called Seiko Mart. Go ahead, you could do. Shay's gonna finish eating her tart. While I take us to Seiko Mart, which has a hot chef. Not hot chef, but the rest of the place is called next door hot chef. Let's go. It's freezing. Of course the breads. More breads. Sandwiches. Some food ready to go, ready to eat. Some of this stuff, I don't know. Oh mochi. More hot foods, oh that looks good. Oh, they're ready. Look at all that. All right. All right. Let me just take you guys around. <laughs> Drink section, vegetables. I didn't try yet. Oh, you the one that got the corn one? Yeah, I did. Was it good? I don't know. I didn't try it. Oh, that's good. Ice cream. Yeah, that's my one. Which one? 
I tell her I told her to get crunk. Oh, crunk is bomb. Crunky. Yeah, crunky. <laughs> Okay, uh, guys, we're gonna try Mikey Chen's famous grape Sprite soda. Keith is setting it up right now. Damn. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's making a drink. That's not my drink. <laughs> <laughs> so we tried, we saw this from one of the YouTube the vloggers. Oh yeah? Cool. Yeah. Mikey Chen. So we got Sprite and... Um, some frozen grapes here. Oh, frozen grapes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saw this. Oh, that's what I'm so excited to use this. It was cracking ice. Filling <laughs> ice. Oh. You need ice? For this? Yeah, thanks. What is he getting? See, I told you he calls me Vince. What is he getting? I do Okay. Oh, I do yeah. So we got the frozen <laughs> grapes. You're missing one, Chalu. Hey, Lalu. Lalu. Hi, Lalu. Okay, one cup has more. No, pardon? I can smell it from here. I worked at the restaurant, bro. Mr. Shortcut. Damn. Oh, I forgot to record. Hello. Hello. Looks bomb. Okay, I feel like you need to let it settle in for a bit. Um, no, it's okay. Thank you, though. Alright, I'm just gonna let mine settle for a bit and we'll give it a try in a few minutes. Alright, you guys, I just smashed the grapes. Check it out. Boom. Oh, that's bomb. Really? Yeah, here, smash it. Smash it. Smash it. I'm going to smash this. I'm going to smash it. I'll just smash it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to smash it and it keeps running away. Oh, there. There we go. <laughs> Really good, Mike Chan. Really good. We approve. Approve. I also got another drink. So, this is the drink that I got at the convenience store, Peach Tea. Chicken. <laughs> Got peach tea. What is veggie by this too? Salty. It's salty. Oh, it's salty. Okay, we don't like it. Why are you doing salty? The barbecue. Pizza. Yeah, it's salty. How does veggie mine and barbecue get together? Very light. How does veggie mine and barbecue get together? Very refreshing. Corn ice cream. And a corn wafer. Oh! <laughs> How lame. I thought it was real corn. 
Vanilla. Vanilla. Wait, vanilla. So it's just a corn wafer. Corn, corn wafer that tastes like corn. Oh, uh huh. And tastes like. I think vanilla. Yeah. Would you get it again? <laughs> Here's my ice cream. What you got, Shay? Crepe, vanilla, chocolate syrup, I think, and cr chocolate crunch. There you go. Yeah, it's a thin packaging. Let's try it out. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, that's a crepe. For real. Let me try this. Is that caramel? That's good. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? It's cookies. Oh, it's cookies? Yeah. Graham crackers? No, it's cookies. Like mm. soft cookies. Did you get it again? Yeah. We'll come back with a verdict. BRB. I'd get it again. 